Yo guys, how's it going? Matt Gas here, and for today's video, I'm going to show you how you can customize your Xbox One to your liking. As you can see, my Xbox One dashboard has my painted blue and yellow background, and I'm going to show you how to do this in a few simple steps. So, first of all, what you want to do is go into settings from your Xbox dashboard, and once this loads up, what you want to do is go over to preferences. Now, in preferences, you want to make sure that it says allow to play streaming. Sorry, allow play to streaming. And then that should enable the files to transfer from your PC to your Xbox. So go into your PC, hit the start button, and then go over to devices and printers. And once this loads up, you should see your Xbox One should appear somewhere on this list. Mine appears to the far right hand side. Now, if it doesn't appear up on this list, you can hit the add device button up on the top left of this menu. And all you want to do is just click next on that once it's finished searching and it should find your Xbox One. If it doesn't, just keep re restarting your Xbox till it finds it and it will find it. I didn't need to do mine because it's already found it. So once you've done that, that's the first step out of the way. I'm going to close that menu down and now you want to go into Windows Media Player. And you want to go up to the top where it says streaming. And you want to make sure that you have got the bottom two boxes ticked. So it allows your content from your PC to be shared with your Xbox through Windows Media Player. So now you've done that, just close Windows Media Player down because you don't need that anymore for the moment. And what you want to do is you want to download this, this Photoshop file to create your own background for your Xbox One. And I've created my own here, as you can see, it is my Mad Guys Gaming, yellow and orange with blue. But I'll put it back to where it was originally with some, uh, I think it's Forza Motorsport background. And all you want to do is just toggle off the different layers and you'll see the image actually is behind it, what we're using. And they've used that, and obviously when you put that image on, it, will, it dulls out for some reason, because that's what it does on the Xbox One. But all you want to do is just create your own image and make sure you disable the layer with the green squares on it that are corresponding to the areas on the Xbox One. As you can see, mine have added a nice blue circle around the Xbox button, and you want to disable that layer, and let me just save this image as a JPEG file. And once you've done that, I've just saved it to the desktop for ease of use. You want to go into My Computer, and when you go into My Computer, go on the left-hand side and go to Pictures, and into My Pictures. And now what we're going to do for this, we're going to create a new folder called Xbox Themes. And all you want to do is just copy and paste your logo in your logo or sorry or background into this folder and it will be automatically synced up with your Xbox One. That's because it uses Windows Media Player and these folders are stored into Windows Media Windows Media Player since you select streaming on. After you've done this, you want to head back to your Xbox One and you want to go on to settings once again. And once in the settings menu, you want to make your way down to the bottom to My Xbox. And this way you customize the theme. So you want to go down to My Background. And then you just want to select Custom Image. And it will show a little image of a computer monitor. And it will connect to your media player. It may take a few seconds there, so there's no devices found. But then it pops up with my, my PC. So you want to just click on that. It's a, its a tone folder. Once you click on it, it will bring up all the different folders on your PC. And the easiest way to find my images, I just went to Pictures then to all pictures so display all pictures shared through windows media player and you can see some daft photos there we have some cool stuff but all the way along on the right hand side is my xbox one theme that i created earlier on today and once you've done that just click on the image then you want to click the start button on your xbox one control pad and set as background and that is it that is simply it how you can customize the xbox one to look and feel how you want it to for yourself and for your friends. I will leave a link down below as well to my own custom image if you want to have the Mad Gaz Gaming background for your Xbox One. But yeah guys, that is it. Pretty simple, pretty cool method, pretty easy to do. If you have any problems with this, just leave a comment down below and I'll be sure to help you the best I can. But yeah, until next time, I shall see you later.